What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's talk about Jasmine Coin a little bit, but more in a positive light, right? There's uh, some negativity that's going on, and I want to push that out the window. I want to focus on something that has a little bit more positivity behind it and show that at least some people, if not billionaires, believe in uh, Jasmine Coin and what's going to happen with this project and the different uh, types of things that they will develop. So if you didn't know, 300 million more Jasmine Coin has been purchased or moved to um, Binance, right? And Binance basically having this new 300 million coins in a place to where I feel like it holds value a lot better. And we'll explain exactly what that means and uh, where that's coming from. We'll show you some proof and then also explain um, the details behind um, the wallet. So guys, if you could, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow my new credit card YouTube channel, the link will be up in the cards. If you want to you know, start getting rewards or get bonuses or anything like that, uh, definitely check those credit card reviews out and subscribe to that channel, right? I just want to get it to a thousand subscribers, get to a monetized state so they can start pushing out the content because right now they don't push out anything. Like, I, I swear, they don't push out any notifications. They don't push out absolutely anything. So if you want to be a part of that, feel free to be a part of it over there. Um, but let's talk about this, right? Because uh, Jasmine Coin, where it currently stands, right? If we look at Jasmine Coin, it stands at about 33% of a penny. It's seen some negativity today. And we're looking at a $162 million market cap. Scroll down here and we see this supply. Now, out of the supply, we understand that majority of the volume that takes place uh, a lot of it goes on Binance, right? If you look at the and sort it by um, whatever the overall amount actually is, the volume number, I wanted to do it by percentages, but you would see that you have, you know, BitTrue, Binance that's right up at the top with about $3.9 million and seeing BitTrue at about $7.9 million. <clears throat> but seeing Binance up there and anything that they are doing, they're holding quite a bit of Jasmine Coin and actually hold a lot of Jasmine Coin's future within what they hold if that makes sense. Anything that they do related to Jasmine Coin creates either negativity or positivity, right? Where you have buying of a, a lot of Jasmine Coin creates some positivity, adding them to the um, the infrastructure zone or you know the uh, whatever zone they add them to, uh, monitoring or whatever it is, then you end up seeing some negativity because it's like, why does it need to be there? So Anything, anything that they do, you have some sort of negative or positive uh, movement to it. So Binance is definitely holding quite a bit of power um, when it's related to Jasmine Coin. But from that power, right, we understand when they decide to buy some or move some or do whatever they need to do, it creates positivity. And that's what, exactly what we saw. So this is uh, Binance's wallet. Uh, this is one of Binance's wallet. Actually, if we just go to Jasmine Coin, let me go here and I'm just going to click into here and we're just going to go there organically, right? Just uh, normally so that you guys can see it. So here we go. We clicked in the Jasmine Coin's contract. We're seeing that you have about 56,000 holders. And if you scroll down here and you look at the holders, you're going to see that uh, Binance is at the top of the list. Binance 8 wallet that has about 14.6 and it's at 7.3 billion coins. 7.3 billion tokens within it. It had 7 billion tokens, which 300 million was just added. So if we go in here, we're going to see 300 million that was just added here. So 300.038 million that was just added to that. Now that came from Binance 14, which is a whole nother Binance wallet. So you could probably say, hey, Binance didn't buy um more Jasmine coin. They just moved more Jasmine coin. And that's true. They did move more Jasmine coin, but it also creates a little bit more strength in where they moved it to. So if you don't understand what the difference is between uh, Binance 14 and Binance 8, well, we have uh, a little bit of an explanation here of, you know, hot wallets and cold wallets and everything there. So hot wallets are exchange wallets connected to the internet for consumer funds dedicated to trading and earmarked for deposits withdrawals outside of Binance. Binance hot wallets include Binance 14, 15, and 16. So 14 is a hot wallet where you see activity that's happening within there and you have it to be able to withdraw for it to... Um, not only withdraw, but also deposit. And the thing is, is that you can see that money move in and out and move back and forth, but it all depends on what the strength is for Jasmine coin and how much volume is going into there 
So they end up putting it into either a hot wallet or a cold wallet. So cold wallets, cold wallets house a majority of most tokens held by exchanges. Uh, these are removed from the from the internet and typically required for more sophisticated process for client uh, to withdraw. Um, many in many cases, access ac well, sorry uh, assesses assets. I can't read. Assets can only be sent from uh, cold wallets to exchange hot wallets are on a pre-approval list to uh, receive funds. <clears throat> to process large withdrawals, in, uh, it is common for exchanges to move funds out of cold wallets into hot wallets before sending externally. Uh, at Binance, there are, few, there are few known cold wallets. The largest is Binance 8 with approximately 16.6 billion dollars in client assets binance has not responded when asked how much exchange assets reside on binance 8 so binance 8 is a cold wallet where you have uh, maybe a lot less movement and more um, holding for the long term and as you see um, that that holding and finding a way to, to finally access it it's just you either make coins that are available within the hot wallet because you have active movement into the position or um, basically storing them away kind of like what you do with like say your ethereum or something let's say you have ethereum that you um, wanted to hold for a very very long time there's a lot of people that will end up putting it on a ledger they'll end up putting it in a cold wallet because they don't want to touch it they don't want to even attempt to touch it or have the <clears throat> the mind kind of trick them into going to to move that or sell it or whatever they want to hold it for a long time and it creates long-term holds and um, a longer uh, typical days of hold time so what we can see is things like this where uh, Jasmine coins typical days of hold time are increasing and it's at about 41 days right now and we could see that continue to increase as we see more and more things like that happen so no uh, Binance didn't buy 300 million more Jasmine coin, but what they did was move 300 million more Jasmine coin. And I don't know um, if that states it, right? Because I didn't see 300 million Jasmine coin going in there, but we did see slowly but surely as we look at Binance 14, uh, we go over here to Binance 14, if it does load, you can see slowly but surely they are adding it to um, you know, Binance 14 here. So whether it's, you know, a hundred million, uh, this much, this much, this much. So as you can see from the back end, they did buy, um, uh, more, um, Jasmine coin in order to move it to, from Binance 14 over to Binance eight. So I take that back. They did purchase 300 million more Jasmine coin as far as I can see here. So let me know what you think about this. Is this significant? Uh, does this create more strength? Um, can we look at this as a positive? Or what are you looking at it as? Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you wanna follow my new credit card YouTube channel, feel free to check that out. The link will be up in the cards, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.